to take pictures? You can take pictures as long as you don't have any flash. No flash, yeah. What? You made me put my bar away. I can't eat it here. Unless I get the manager. He says, you can go out there and in the cafe. I said, I don't know what they put in their food. property first stood the Pasadena Art Institute, which became the Pasadena Art Museum, which Norton Simon was part of the chairmanship of, and he started commingling his artwork with this artwork, and then it became the Norton Simon Museum, and there's eight acres of property with proviso that some of it always be left for the museum. It was, it was deeded to Pasadena in 1941, just the land, eight acres, not the building. This is one of my favorite paintings in the whole world. That's why we've come today. So she was the daughter of an important minister. Um, there were people of um, high political stature in her family. She was also um, um, somewhat of an intellectual. She was the granddaughter of Germaine de Stahl, who was an important novelist in the uh, 1790s, an intellectual legacy that she carried on as well. She herself actually wrote novels. She wrote historical novels. I Googled her and um, you can find uh, several of her novels listed online and actually reprints of some of them. Norton Simon was born to a prominent Jewish family in Portland, Oregon. He became a very wealthy man and a wonderful art collector. He didn't finish college and he started his business career early with Hunt Foods. He went on to own many other companies. McCall's Publishing, Canada Dry, Max Factor, and Avis rent -a -car. Those were just some. This gave him the funds he needed to collect great works of art, which he did over almost his entire life. He took over the Pasadena Art Museum, blended his collection into it, and now it is a world-class museum. Renoir, Raphael, Botticelli, Rubens, Rembrandt, Monet, Monet, Degas, Van Gogh, Watteau, Koya, Toulouse-Lautrec, Picasso, and Matisse, and many more. Oh yes, behind me, VG Lebron. Out. I agree. 
It's a great little museum, and they have a really nice outdoor area in which to eat. We should visit again. Well worth the trip to Pasadena.